Welcome Only back. you can stop forest fires. <laughs> Welcome back to Southern Hospitality. <laughs> uh, and they, like they said, only you can stop forest fires, so please don't set the forest on fire. Um, the forest doesn't need to know what gender your baby is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that, I literally can't move. Ellipses. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? Wow, I can't believe Monica Duma Monica Monica Duma Kum Kum Duma Kum Kum Duma Kum Batch can do ellipses while he's gone. I'm right here. I'm already eating it. Oh, oh, God! Who they ate me? Wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Uh, but not robotic bears. Nom nom nom. What is this? So yummy. Well, my mate. I wanna eat my, 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 my. I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life, and the taste brings me back to my days in the wild. You're a robot bear. The, the, uh, yeah, this is bad. Seriously, this is real bad. My my, there's something inside the meat. Look what came out. It's an Is that an iron skewer? Why would that be in there? Um... Guess. Are you telling me... No, 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 sorry. Some. I'm sorry. So, we went through the whole excruciating, painful minigame in tons of dialogue talking about this iron skewer, and she's like, Huh, an iron skewer? How could... Why would that be there? I don't think she didn't say that wonder. Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. Yeah, thank you, Jockey. If you weren't so cute, I'd be real mad right now. <laughs> the Sword of Destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat, it brought catastrophe unto Byakia. Yes, I write poetry. As expected of Teru Teru, such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong, I'm not the killer, I'm not the kind of person who will kill someone. I got you'll set me up. You don't set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet, please? <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> Y'all nothing but a bunch of poor land math, math foodie, and I don't want to say that. I just don't feel like it. Uh, he said, um, that, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Here's my boob grabbing look again. <laughs> I'm in the mood. And now, and now, and now, and now, she'll waste my cooking on you, and then gray, crow, crow, crow. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first... I guess we need to settle this once and for all. You remember what you do at every at the end of every trial in Dangarampa? To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make no. everything clear. Are you kidding yep. me? It returns. No. I'm go over right the now. entire incident? But that sounds like a waste of time. And then I can prove Terry Terry's crime. But that's right. Can't do it alone. I don't have to tell much passes. We need to do it. He flashed blue. He's secretly the ultimate blue. <laughs> I'm already over this minigame. Did you just hear that line that said my throb is chesting? <laughs> what, uh, what? Really? The line, the, the narrator said, my, oh, so it's finally time. The, my throb is chesting. <laughs> throb chesty, mom spaghetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be quick it's it's just, things. like, make the manga, basically. Mm, just do the thing. Just do the thing. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck and have fun. It. Thank you. 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 All right. Oh, it's also right to left, by the way. And if you hover the little like pointer thing over the question mark, it'll give you a hint as to which image should correspond to it. Um. It's it's it hover over the uh, the red question mark, not the panels you have. Everyone yeah, of the then. party is uh, this. 
No, because it says Iconic keeps eating even during the blackout for that panel. So it's probably not that panel. Right. Everyone at the party is... Uh, it would be like celebrating or something. Uh, so I don't think you have the panel that corresponds to that. So you should move over to other um, areas and see if you have a panel that goes to those. Oh, I see. Like, like you'll be given like like two of these five panels will actually be for the comic. Oh, that's dumb. At the storage room before the blackout. No. Oh god, this is terrible. Yep. Pretty bogus. Do I lose? I lose Lalf every time I get one wrong. All right. Really. Really? You're, you're kidding me? Nope. Not no kidding. Wow. Wow, I got one right. Incredible. All right. Are you trying to die? Yes. Oh. No. It's just it's terrible. Oof. Um... Oh no, I died. Bad ending. Well, he couldn't put together the manga. Everybody thinks it's him. That's right, if you're no good at manga, you're no good at living. Wait, they all vote me even though I... Yeah, just because you lost the manga thing. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I think I'll just be okay with us dying. I think I'll just die, actually. Wow, and I just get to restart with all my health yep. back at the top. Wow, incredible. Alright. Uh... And it randomizes which ones I have each time. Yep. Do you have the um, board up yet? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, would you like me to use it for you? Yes, please. All right. So, do you have among your little? Uh, okay, so you don't have that for the first page. Second page. Uh, one of them is the turned on irons. Okay. Cool. All right. One of them is set at eleven thirty p.m., which I don't think you have. So nope. the third page has the air conditioner turned on from last time. You remember that? You don't have that right now. Um, Page four has night vision goggles equipped. Um, Nagito trying to duck, duck under the table. I don't have either of those. Uh, nope. Uh, page five has uh, switched on and big meat on the bone. Do you have either of those in your panels? I don't. Nope. Um, page six has closing the fire door, barring the tablecloth. Ah, you. I think you have closing the fire door. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, cool. And now, ah, oh, yeah, there you go. That one was not very hard. Uh, all right, now let me see. What do you have left? Ah, yes, that one. Uh, that one goes to, trying the... to drink the juice. <laughs> uh, drink juice. No, that's uh, it's page. Uh, four. It's page four you gotta go to. Okay, for what? Uh, Nagito trying to duck under the table is, uh, is one of these. I don't know which of these, but it's one of them. Well, it's the other one. Ding! Alright. Um, next one. Oh, switch on. That goes to page five. Cool. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying this, cause, uh... Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is, this is kind of busy work. Yeah, sure is. All right, what's, uh, what's next? Page one is Chiaki is guarding the old building's entrance, which I don't think you have. Nope. Let's see, know. borrowing the tablecloth, which is something you have, goes to page six. Thing. There you go. All right. Stock three. Um, night vision goggles equipped goes to page four. All right. Cool. All right. Page five has big meat on the bone. There you go. Big um, meat on the bone. Um, page, uh, let me see, what do you have? Akane keeps eating and the air conditioner turned on. 
Uh, page three has the air conditioner turned on. Cool. And there you go. And now last stock. Uh, Chiaki goes has... to page one. Number one has Chiaki as guard of the Yeah, building. best girl. Number two has, um, yes, best girl. Two has set at 11.30 PM. And all that's left now is the final page. Wow. I there you can't, go. Um, uh, it's, it's truly insane that there is a minigame worse designed in the first game. Like, that is even worse. That's t it was terrible. Let's try going over the whole incident beginning with the part after the party started. Yeah, yeah, you had gathers gather in the dining hall at the end of the whole building in the near the hotel. Wow, I really read that wrong. He was extra cautious about the murder occurring that night because of the threatening letter he had received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so we could monitor us. I will say, the hard style of this is pretty cool. Yeah. The one person didn't come. The rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. I'm just standing here. But at the time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Oh! They plugged Done. three irons into the outlet in the storage room, with nearly capped the power usage. I have a question. What if it didn't... Like, what if the power didn't go out of that? Then the murder wouldn't have happened. <laughs> that was a really, like... Kind of... Kind of it's an, situation it's an old... It's an old building with really, really terrible electrical systems. I guess... I guess... I don't know, it just it seems weird. There's the repair something else that would activate at 11.30pm. Uh, good. The air conditioner of the office in the dining hall is there. Sorry, times for these. Thanks for the Nekomaru's eyes are still shooting out lightning even in the dark. Wait, why didn't they see? They had Nekomaru! Yeah, seriously, they had lightning. <laughs> Fix the irons maxing out the power usage. The breaker was tripped on the air conditioner kicked down. I love that. One of my God, he's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. I love that of everything. Um, yeah. Uh, I love that all the characters, like a lot of them have like those cool effects around them. Like Nekomaru always has lightning around his eyes and Akane yeah. has like her like, um, her face where she's like looking up and there's like blurs streaking off of her form and stuff yeah. like that. I love that Gundam who is the one about all about magic literally has nothing cool about yeah, no, any he's of his just poses. A dweeb. Like he's just a dweeb. Gundam is literally just a dweeb. Yeah. When that he's happened, the ultimate dweeb. <laughs> the ultimate dweeb. When that happened, Biakia took out a specific item they brought in his case. His uh, cheeks were just filled up with the batteries to the night vision goggles! He's too nuts for winter. Yucky was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Yucky witnessed a certain someone marking a suspicious move. So he... ran to get under the table with him. To stop him. Uh huh. Because remember, he said he would never let anyone become a victim. I guess. That's why everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to the Bakio, the source of the blackout, was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began to make their move in the kitchen. The killer probably knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. How could they have known? That, that, that'll, that'll be revealed. Okay, cool. That's why the people prepared all the items they- But like, if it's not revealed, then how does Hajime know- I don't know, this is ridiculous. That's why this the killer prepared the evidence, all yeah. the items they would have needed to commit the murder with perhaps, um, beforehand. They needed a light source which brought about a portable stove to catch you. Yes, you know, you're welcome, you only had your cushion beforehand. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> the long iron skewer was used in the Chirasu okay. base. The killer used that as though they hit the man with can the bullet. Can I real quick? Yeah. Aren't you so glad that that face isn't on Terra Terra? Oh, it's just drawn on like... Nightmare. Anonymous murder figure. Yeah. 
With the women more we stole in the air, you kill us up in the hallway. First they close the barrel door in the hallway, so they lie so you will be against the gang, you know? And then they went boop de boop de boop. <laughs> then the guy was like the kid had to destroy the room and got a specific item ellipses. Everybody's looking at Ajme like, why aren't you taking this seriously? This way you take the cloth to block the blood spatter. <laughs> I am dinner, Moon Knight. With it, the killer finished their preparations and stuck onto the floorboards to reach the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point or left it in the entrance to the door. The floor of the door and hallway was full of gaps, so there was no way they could have safely paid by a light to source. Hmm, yeah. Ooh. But this is a growing market in the patient earlier, the treasure was able to get beneath the table. <laughs> Look at the look at the like energy in that bottom right panel. Gosh. Oh fuck. Uh, I'm gonna take that for later and uh. What am I? Yeah, just a real quick screenshot. Oh, did the table be yucky when the knife had been hidden there? If only Why he didn't he keep the, the goggles on. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have got killed. But ellipses, he had to retrieve that knife, and so at the moment, ellipses. Doink, doink. They stabbed him in the chest hole. The killer living <laughs> beneath the swabboard stabbed him with an iron screw right in his chesticles. Right in I'm his surprised chesticles. you haven't gotten doing, like, bored doing <laughs> The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing plate to move. I have to say, it really, really hurts my upper lip having to force it to work like this. <laughs> you don't have to do that. She's perfect. She's perfectly shattered from the floorboards to make a tip that there is all the dining hall. Afterwards, they came for all the little floorboards and saved her back in the kitchen. Wow. Seems like maybe if she was really the ultimate musician, Ibuki would have been able to hear that he was under the floor. And then, after hiding the murder weapon, shut up, Bard. The murder was in the <laughs> kitchen. They rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. Um. There's only one person who would have been able to cover this crime. If another person is someone who takes off an expert way to hide the weapon inside. Alright. Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that the worst picture you've ever seen of him? That's what happened, you look fierce, how about it, did I get anything wrong? This is a mistake, a mistake, I told you I would oh, never, gosh, I would dang. never kill Please, anyone. stop, please, I can't keep listening to that voice, please. please. I was never good. Wow, they drew this face for him just for this one moment. Yep, it seems, this is the end. <laughs> Draws her sword. <laughs> <laughs> Monica Southern was like, way. "Whoa, that's you just you just killed him. What?" She's like, yeah. "What? I thought I thought the punishment was execution." I was like, "I take care of that usually." She's like, "Oh my oh. god, my lip hurts so fucking much. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god, I'm in so much pain right now. Oh, sweet, 100. percent Didn't have to do that. A B. I got a B. <laughs> yeah, a B for brutal. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. And so is this episode. Just kidding. Oops, I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make a triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. Uh, why did this happen? And why are there mushrooms on my head? Yeah. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement. My dick is shriveled up inside of my air system. Oh no, man. Who is guilty? It's Teratero. Wow, I did not expect him to die off this quickly. But ain't it just lovely that he did? Oh, it's awesome. I so it's like it. you're sitting there like, oh gosh, I hope I don't have to go an entire game with this character. That's like very clearly just this kind of character. And it's like, oh, okay. Correct. That's right, this time the black and responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Terra Terra Hanamura. Hell yeah. <laughs> Would everybody please stop eating bunny rabbits? 
Wow, he really did win the chubby winning challenge. Are you serious? I thought I was gonna have the game in the bag. Out of all <laughs> these people, are you saying a ponce? Like, what is even a ponce? It's like an old timey word for like numbskull or loser. <laughs> cool. I always wanted to kill Biakia, but why? Why did you kill him? It was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was always trying to save you guys. I was going to stop learning all you talk from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and, and, then, and then I heard weird laughter next to the dining hall when I peeked over there. I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of the cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it. You know, I got a weird bad feeling from, you know, a guy putting a knife under a table. Weird like that. So I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought into the storage room, mess with the air conditioning timer. His voice he was screaming, just screaming by himself the whole time. He was you know. And when that happened, he... This is not a flashback. This is... Oh, I've been caught? Been caught? What are you doing? What are you scheming? I'm planning to kill someone, of course. You know. Huh? Teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see. So that's what you think. But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What are you saying? Oh my god. I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all of the ultimates. I admire them for being so symbols of hope. 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 That's right, in the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. I want everybody to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See, isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I'm going to absorb so many ghosts into my body. I'll take them all. I want to make your hopes shine. It's as simple as that. That's right, I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. Are you kidding? Don't tell me you're actually serious. Question mark under my all my words. So you still don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. Yeah, sure. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No, we shouldn't call you that. You, there is something wrong with you. Really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? Am I a crazy little guy? <laughs> but isn't that what love is? Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with you. Also, there's something wrong with this episode because it's way over. <laughs> oh. Kiss me, Teru Teru. No, please! <laughs>